What's up everybody? We're gonna do a review of this beautiful Tanglewood guitar that I picked up out in New York. Um, let's go through, check it out, and see how it sounds. And I was in dire need of a guitar for a show, so I picked up this because it was within the budget and I can travel with it and not have any worries. So this was under 200 bucks. Nice open pour finish, pretty cool bursting on the sides, nice satin. Nice bridge, looks to be a plastic nut. I'll probably change that long term, but um, I was just really impressed with the feel and the wood quality, so. Very nice, let's check all the neck pockets. Pretty good fit and finish on this one. Definitely a laminate, but for the price, no complaints. Good neck taper up here. Kind of the Martin squared off headstock with some inexpensive tuners, but they seem to get the job done. It's been able to be tuned pretty well. Um, it looks to be a tusk nut, which is surprising at this point. That's pretty great. I don't know how much you can see this, but the logo is just painted on, or even it might be a slip decal because there's a slight kind of transparent border around each letter. But again, open pore matching headstock. I think it fits pretty well. Really blacked out. I don't think you could call that rosewood. I think they're gonna call that black wood, which is normally just some kind of white wood that's been dyed and hardened artificially, but seems to work pretty well. Okay, the fret ends are not sharp, not sticking out of the sides. You can see that they have some kind of binding, I think probably plastic binding to keep the fret tangs in there, but there's really not a lot of fresh uh, attention to detail on the fret ends. They're not rounded over or anything. It's just basically the 145 degree bevel cut. I know this is asking a lot for a sub $200 guitar, but you can see there's just a little bit of inconsistency on dying the side of the top. It didn't take it quite consistently spot right here and then a spot right at the bottom but again you know that's not a lot of room to complain on something in this price range let's uh give it a strum okay so when i first got this um the action was pretty high so i straightened the truss rod a whole bunch uh, but didn't have to do any fret work and for the most part everything is there and there's no dead frets so pretty good. Um, the action's nice. The neck profile's, you know, traditional and thin. Um, it's it's kind of the industry standard now. And then the tone's pretty good. A little disclaimer, I am in a huge, big open wood floor room, so um, that's probably helping the acoustics and the uh, reverb a little bit, but hopefully you can get a feel for the tone of the guitar. Really crisp low end. Everything's pretty uh, trebly. Skews towards the brightness of like a Taylor. But they've done a good job balancing the uh, top so that it gets good balance out of the, the low end. Pretty punchy mid range. bit of buzz out of this. So there's just probably, you know, if I went through and did a fret dressing on this, um, it would get rid of all that. But I mean, for the price, this is a great guitar. Playability is good, it's easy to set up, and I think this would be a good way to go. Uh, there's no binding at the nut, so the tuning is pretty stable and uh, I was able to play it for a show on like the day after I bought it. So um, I highly recommend this guitar for under 200 bucks. Pretty cool, my first kind of uh, walk in towards Tanglewood guitars, but I will check out some of their higher end stuff. Let me know if there's a cool product down in the comments that you want me to check out and we will see you guys soon.